I have to share a story, another story from our XM radio show. We have a lot of incredible information on that. And if you want more information on the show, go to talkdavid.com. The times, the dates, how you can listen, all that stuff is there. So recently we received an email about ending an engagement. A woman had wrote in saying that she had been engaged for a couple years with a gentleman, dated him for years earlier than that, was really excited about spending her life with him. However, there was one catch. She wanted to make sure they could have a family together. She wanted to have a baby. She feels it's her life purpose and one of her life purposes, and she wanted to have the baby with this man, but she wanted to make sure they could. She didn't want to go into the marriage and found out that he was impotent, that he couldn't have a child. So prior to the marriage, during the engagement, she asked him to have his sperm tested as, at a fertility clinic to make sure that he could father a child. He said no. He said that they should believe in faith in God and that if they're supposed to have children, they will. And if they can't have children, they can adopt or do whatever, all these different things. And she was frustrated. She really felt that he should, in this, in this specific instance, go ahead and, and use her wishes as a way to prove not only their love for each other, but also to decrease the chance of resentment after the marriage. They're at a standstill. We opened the phone lines. The phone lines went crazy. So many people agreed with the guy that he shouldn't have to do that. Then the other 50% of callers agreed with the woman saying, yes, she has a right. Would you be in that situation? If your partner decided that they didn't want to have a fertility test, man or a woman, would you end the engagement because you so know it's your life purpose and you want to have a baby with your partner? I have to tell you, in this case, I agree with the young woman. I think these are the things, and as a minister who marries couples, I never will marry a couple anymore. I've done it in the past, but I won't anymore, who doesn't go through premarital counseling with us. And the reason is exactly this. If we walk into a marriage with a resentment, then we, if whether we have a child or not, in this woman's case, there's going to be the resentment that's still there. It's very difficult to walk into a marriage with a resentment and let the resentment go after they're married. Why? Because there's even more pressure on people to fulfill certain roles in a marriage. And those kinds of things are just natural. I'm not saying they're healthy. They can be worked through. It's natural. The odds of going into the marriage, if they could not have a child, the odds of her being able to let go of that resentment are so small that I would have to agree with some of the people that called and said that's not worth the risk. And why do I say that? Because she states so clearly that she knows her life purpose or one of her major ones is to have a child and she wants to have it with the father. There's nothing wrong with that. Maybe the best thing for them to do would be to separate and to go forward with an individual that agrees with their major uh, thought processes in life, their major goals in life. And in that case, they both could be happy. If I can help you in any of your relationship issues, contact me at talkdavid.com. Also, check out the show every week, three hours long, filled with great information. Sending you love. Have a great day. Bye-bye.